explaining the topic just now, okay? Good afternoon to everyone. My name is Jennifer and it's a pleasure for me to work with us in this class. Now, the topic for today is accommodations. This is the table of contents that we'll uh, found in this presentation. First, the introduction. The second one is the context of the week. The third one is direction for weekly activities and question and ask where to find all. Okay, now the topic, as I mentioned before, is accommodation, okay? Um, what do you think that it's accommodation? What is accommodation meaning in Spanish? Can you please um, write in the chat what you consider that is accommodation in Spanish? So. Okay, uh, we are used to translating word literary in Spanish. For example, cuando escuchamos la palabra accommodation, se nos viene a la mente que es acomodación en español, porque solemos trans, um, traducir las palabras literalmente. But in this case, accommodation in English is alojamiento. This is a little definition about it. Accommodation is a group of rooms or waiting which someone may lie or stay, and it's important to any tourist who want to travel to another destination or on a trip as you are always going to need a place to stay, okay? When we travel or do a family trip, for example, usually the first thing that, I, that we do um, is to share a place to stay, accommodation to stay comfortable with our family, right? Que okay, cuando nosotros viajamos, tenemos una excursión familiar o viajamos a otro país, usualmente lo primero que nosotros hacemos es uh, buscar un alojamiento donde estar. Ok, we have types of accommodation. First, um, we have a question that I would like to respond for me to ask you that where would you like to stay? ¿Dónde te gustaría estar? Can you read in the chat, please? Or you can turn on your microphone and say. Janet, where would you like to stay? Can you turn off, turn on your microphone, please? Let me see the chat. Hi. Uh -huh. um, that's right. I would like to be in the beach now. Me too, Ruben. <laughs> uh, hi, Janet. Ah, yo fui la que <laughs> dije en un rancho a la orilla del mar. <laughs> okay, uh, Damaris, where would you like to stay? A mountain hotel, okay. That's a big idea. Okay, now let's continue. Accommodation. Uh, there are different types of accommodation. Hay muchos tipos de alojamientos. Eh, yo creo que con la palabra alojamiento se nos viene a la mente muchos lugares. Can you tell me why? One of that. Pueden escribir en el chat un tipo de alojamiento que se les viene a la mente. A hotel. A hotel, yeah. 
Someone else? You say, Yana, I would like to be in a mountain hotel, a hostel. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, think of advantage and disadvantage of each type. Okay. La, algunas ventajas y desventajas que podrían tener los tipos de alojamiento, the type of accommodation. One of the advantage for this, for this accommodation will be um, to type for a comfortable um, space for our family. And a disadvantage can be um, the money because there are some expensive places that when travel and we take a trip, right? Cuando hacemos un viaje, usualmente una de las desventajas por la cual no podemos quedarnos en un lugar que nosotros quisiéramos es porque muchas veces son demasiado caras. O depende también de season of the year, de temporada del año. And we would we'll, we'll choose. And why? Okay, um, Janet. ¿Por qué querría estar en una beach? ¿O quién me dijo que quería estar en la playa? Let me see. Joana, would you like to be in a mountain hotel? Why? Can you read in the chat, please? Or Damaris in a mountain hotel? Why would you like to stay? Joanna say, be careful. I like the climate of that place. I do like the weather in that place. That's right. Mm -hmm. Damaris. Damaris, why would you like to stay in a mountain? Uh, because I love the mountain weather. Okay, that's right, thank you. Okay, now we have the type of accommodation. First, we have the hotels. Provide a private services room for a guest. They range from very basic project style to extremely accommodation. Okay, um, this is one of the most common types of accommodation. Uh, los hoteles, uh, los más comunes tipos de alojamiento cuando nosotros tomamos un viaje. Um, but in this case, we have the advantage and the disadvantage for that places. For example, um, hay algunos que no permiten the food, la comida. Entonces, there are hotels that are too expensive that we are follow different rules to stay in that place, okay? En los que hay muchas ventajas y desventajas por las cuales podemos o no podemos estar. As I mentioned before, the money that is so expensive is one of the uh, disadvantages for that places, right? Okay, uh, we have an example, examples of the hotels. The second one is the hostels, often referred as a Joe hostel or backpackers that are locally defined for a guest house. Uh, generally low budget compared to other places to sleep. Okay, ¿quién sabe qué son los hosteles? ¿Cuál es, what is the difference between hostel and hotel? ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre hotel y hostel? ¿Alguien sabe? Can you turn on your microphone or write in the chat, please?
No one? What's the difference? ¿Alguien sabe cuál es la diferencia? No one? It is of a lower category than the hotel. Okay, the is that try, but in this case, the hotel uh, can be um, private rooms. Let me turn back to this. Okay, we have an example of hotels. Okay, we have private rooms that usually there are two, two people to stay in. In the hostel, you can trip family trip and you rooms can be um, more than 10 people. I mean, that's the difference. Los hoteles, uh, las habitaciones son limitadas. Por ejemplo, hay muchos que solo son para dos personas. Y en los hosteles, cuando vas a un viaje familiar, los cuartos son muy grandes. Entonces caben hasta 10 personas como mínimo. Esa sería una de las diferencias entre hotel y hostel. You can see the examples of that. In this room, there are many uh, beds to stay and sleep. Now continue. Capsule hotels. Uh, can you please Joanna, read this slide. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Capsule hotels are a cheap form of accommodation in Japan, usually more or less compared with a dorm bed in a hostel. In terms of pricing, the rooms are little more than the small one-person capsules with only a mattress, radio, and TV. Okay, thank you, Joanna. They say capsule hotel are cheap, are cheap, but um, son mucho más baratas que cualquier otro tipo de alojamiento. But the disadvantages is only have radio and TV. It's only for sleep and relax. One person. And the Capsules providing um, more privacy to, to the person to the decided to, to sleep and stay here. And the type of classes, um, it's accommodation. It's also the first class in the airport, in the flight, okay? No sé si han visto alguna vez um, en los aviones, los de first class, de primera clase que viajan uh, tienen este tipo de cápsulas también. But usually are more common in Japan. En Japón son más comunes este tipo de, de cápsulas de descanso, de alojamiento. Aquí casi no se ven. And we have an example of that here. Ok. Let's continue. Bell and breakfast. There are get houses. Get houses, what is the meaning in Spanish? Alguien sabe qué significa get house in Spanish? Um, no sé si es casa de huéspedes. Yeah, casa de huéspedes. Provide hotel seats style room. However, they are typically smaller residences and you will interact with your host and other guests, often eating together and sharing common spaces. Bed and breakfast and get house are found both inside and out of major centers. And there are many associations and websites that offer help finding a bed and breakfast in your travel area. In some areas, on the world, uh, the guests are 
usually visited by people that nothing have uh, any parents and anybody who who receive it okay and decided to uh, stay in that places cuando alguien viaja y no tiene por ejemplo si vamos a Estados Unidos y no tienen ningún familiar deciden quedarse en este tipo de accommodation this type of accommodation este tipo de alojamientos ya que son más baratas y conviven con muchas personas porque es una tipo casa en donde there are other guests often eating together and sharing common spaces okay ahí comen juntos y comparten espacios eh, bed and breakfast I uh, can see um, cama y desayuno. It's similar to get house because our fun but inside of a major centers and the kind of accommodation is available for visitors um, where no local uh, relative to stay with, okay? And there are some examples, okay? Uh, the first one is the get house that it's um, very comfortable and bed and breakfast, that is uh, the name for say that. Okay, now continue. Sorry. Motels. Rooms are usually open out to parking a lot, as the name implies it's farther, mostly to motorists, okay? The motels typically uh, have uh, numerous ranges of um, parking and it's just to one person when they throw and have to relax, okay? Nosotros tenemos una definición muy diferente cuando escuchamos la palabra motels, moteles. Um, but in this case, it's a type of accommodation in which uh, temporary sleeping uh, the place uh, of a person that is traveling, okay? Cuando una persona va viajando a road trip por la carretera, conociendo o por trabajo, and in want to sleep, quiere dormir, uh, busca uno de estos moteles, ya que son más baratos y más privados para descansar que un hotel. And that's an example of that. Okay, now have hospitality chains or homestay network. It's an organization that connects travelers with a local resident in the cities when they are visiting if traveler can connect it with the right people at the right time. They can get room and sometimes board in the place they are visit for free or a deep discount. Okay. ¿Alguna vez habían escuchado mencionar de esto? Hospitality exchange. Intercambio de hospedaje. Uh -huh. oh, aquí tenía un mensaje de Marcela. Uh -huh. The hotel only offers rooms private, while the hostel offers rooms shared with bed for many people. Okay, that's a great difference, Marcela. Thank you. Okay, continue with the hospital exchange or homestay network. Um, someone know about it? Alguien sabe acerca de, de esto término? Janet, please uh, read the, this slide. Can you read please, this slide, please? Um, yes, I read. Okay. Um, a hospitality exchange or homestay network. 
is an organization that connects travelers with local residents in the cities. They, this sitting in travelers can connect with the right people at the right time. They can get room and sometimes board in the place they're visiting for free or a deep discount. Um, network size goes from a few thousands to a hundred thousand. In most um, networks, I grow in uh, it's Italy, I don't know. Mm -hmm. um. Okay, uh, thank you, Janet. Uh, this type of accommodation is usually, um, is used to in holidays, okay? Um, say the size going for a few thousand to a hundred thousand and most network are growing cities. Um, it's a form of accommodation where the visitor stay in the house or an apartment for a local in the city where they are traveling and it's usual for holidays. Este tipo de intercambios se da entre personas que viven en distintas ciudades que deciden en, en días festivos, en vacaciones, intercambiar. Okay, son desconocidos que deciden intercambiar their houses or their apartments or they fail to um, new a new experience. Okay, would you like to to do? Les gustaría hacer eso, prestarle su casa a un desconocido, hacer un hospitality exchange with another. Sí, sería bien hacerlo. Porque si tam también conocemos sobre la cultura, tal vez, o, o algo, información histórica del otro país. Mm -hmm. Ok. Thank you, Marcela. Nayeli, would you like to exchange your home or your apartment with another person or with another family? No. Why? ¿Por qué, Nayel? Porque si es una persona desconocida, no sé, no, no me gustaría. For security reasons, por medidas de seguridad, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok. The, uh, in this country, uh, it's so hard, it's complicated to accept them. But in other countries that it's secure and would like to, to do, okay? En este país, por, porque no es muy seguro, muchas veces decimos no. Pero en otros países, for, for example, in England, en Inglaterra, es muy común hacer este tipo de cosas. And I have an example, uh, a person who lives here exchange with them and Members, okay, and stay network is una um, red de estadía en el hogar. It is the international student to live with other families during their studies. Okay, la Universidad Gerardo Barrios hace esto usualmente, uh, que hace intercambio de estudiantes. Entonces, a esto se le conoce como home stay network, que otra familia se hace cargo de un estudiante mientras está estudiando and provide this accommodation and support and support them um, in a period of the time for the period of study. Okay, ninguno de ustedes ha hecho un intercambio alguna vez o conocen a alguien que ha hecho este homestay network. Cristina. Are you here? Um, no, no, no conozco a nadie. Okay. 
pero ya había escuchado de este término, de, de los intercambios que hace la universidad, por ejemplo. Sí, sobre eso sí ya había escuchado. Ok, so a this type of accommodation is knowledge as a home style network. Ok, let's continue. Service apartment offer the comfort, privacy, and flexibility of a self catering property, combined with a city central location and often with the other benefits of many hotel type services, such as main service, room service, and reception. This type of accommodation is ideal for someone who works a lot every day and don't have um, free days, okay? El servicio de apartamentos es cuando nos alquilan un, sorry, un apartamento donde ya está todo amueblado y nos da servicios como de limpieza, de recepción y de todo para que no tengamos que preocuparnos por nada, okay? It's usually in United States, There are some service apartments that offer that. Um, you will find at home, they're also fully equipped with everything that you need. But of course, it's so expensive to live there. And this is an example of service apartment in a company. Okay, now we have holiday rejects or resorts. ¿Alguien conoce algún tipo de resort en El Salvador? De Cameron. Uh -huh. De Cameron. ¿Otra más? ¿Someone else? Marisol. Sorry, I cannot listen to very well, Marcela. Can you repeat it, please? Marisol. Marisol, that's right. Mm -hmm. You consider that Termos del Rio, it's a resort? Hmm? No, uh -huh. no, it's not because uh, Termos del Rio doesn't have rooms to relax and to sleep and stay here. But with pools, sports centers, horse riding, evening entertainment, and many other activities, you can help but have fun. Many also have a kids club. So moment that can relax a little more during their stay from the more traditional holidays camps to the modern climate controller sites. They are great way of combining the accommodation with on site leisure facilities and entertainment. Is the perfect type of accommodation for a long family trip, okay? Because of everything, we post as per center, as um, Damaris or Joanna mentioned before, the Cameron is a perfect resort that include everything, uh, even food uh, all the time and drinks, okay? Uh, otro ejemplo de resorts que alguien sepa, This is a little confused with the hotels, but in this case, the hotels is only offers uh, 
rooms that provided privacy, but in this case, the resource, including everything to comfortable families. La diferencia entre los um, resorts y hoteles es que bueno, la, la ventaja es que en los dos se puede dormir, se puede quedar y disfrutar, pero en los resorts está todo incluido y con piscinas, for center, for writing, pool, drink, and etc. That's the difference between them. Okay, let's continue. Car camping, caravaning, and Airbnb camping. Please, Nayeli, read this slide. Car camping, caravaning, and camping. It goes by many names and take experience varies with daily. Uh, but this form of camping involves carrying your equipment in your motor vehicle where you drive right to your camp camping online more traditional camping car camping allows you to carry keep a bit more equipment and the focus is usually the enjoy the sights good woods and the hikes and other outdoor activities mm -hmm. okay thank you Okay, that is going by many names, okay? There are two names, car camping, car vanning, or Airbnb camping, okay? It's another perfect type of accommodation for long trips of family, for long travel, for long trips, their family or friends, okay? Uh, ¿Alguien ha viajado alguna vez en esto? In this type of accommodation? No, right? Because uh, in this country, it's not usually to travel or take a trip in this type of accommodation, in este tipo de alojamientos. But this is some more equipment, and the focus is usually to enjoy the sites, okay? You can camp in, you can um, enjoy the environment, and enjoy the family trip. continue have camping is do it yourself accommodation you carry your proof and your bedding in your backpack on your car it is often the only choice of accommodation you have when you're traveling off the bearded track but there are also very popular sites for camping holidays. As the teacher mentioned before, the Pital, it's a very play, a very great place to camping. Uh, in the last class, in the, uh -huh, someone mentioned another type of accommodation to camping. Alguien recuerda? La clase pasada, the teacher explained the type of camping and the places when you are um, it yourself to enjoy it. ¿Alguien recuerda lo de la clase anterior que el teacher estaba explicando acerca del camping? Que me diga dónde más se puede hacer este tipo de alojamiento. En el Pital. Ajá, en el Pital. Uh, Cerro Verde. Cerro Verde, <risa> right. En el Espíritu de la Montaña. Camping usually is in the countryside and can improve your environmental relationship, okay? Usualmente, 
los no campamentos correr. se hacen al aire libre en donde tú puedes conectar con la naturaleza. I'm sorry, I'm sorry to interrupt, but um, we're running out of time. Se, okay. se, va de, se va a desconectar la llamada, por favor, nos volvemos a conectar rapidito, ¿ok? Porque ahorita se desconecta. There we go. Okay. <laughs> 